Hello everyone, my name is Vladimir Kiriev and I'm a certified trainer for Avery Denison responsible for Russia. Today I want to show you how to correctly post it using an IA thermometer. Let's have a look. For today's task we'll need two instruments, an IR thermometer and a heat gun. I'm using a Steinle heat gun. Please have a look at this corrugated panel from Gazelle Van. It has really deep channels and I already applied vinyl here, so I can show you how to post hit this area correctly. For these elements we used cast film MPI 1104 with dedicated cast laminate. Let's first have a look at what an IR thermometer actually is. It's a device that allows temperature measurement from a distance. Here we see the measurement result on a display. On the other side there are two holes. One is a laser that only indicates the measured area and the other one is an actual IR sensor. Due to the construction of the device, the construction laser points in the middle of the measured area. Remember this when you measure the temperature of a narrow or thin corrugation. It is also important to understand the distance from the measured object. I recommend approximately 20-25 cm. That's an optimal distance for post heating. If you go closer, the measured area is smaller, and if you go increase the distance, you measure a larger zone. The IR thermometer calculates approximate temperature on the measured area and shows it on a display. Before we start, I want to explain why at all post heating is required. Post heating in corrugations and in areas where you put tension in vinyl is needed to remove the tension from the film and fix its structure to the shape of wrapped objects. It means that stretched vinyl is no longer going to shrink back and its new form is fixed for its entire lifespan. That is why we must execute post heating. It is important to mention that post heating only works on cast materials. No calendar film will remain in a corrugation in a way a post-heated cast vinyl can. Post-heating is done in the following way. I heat up one part of the corrugation, then I take off the heat gun and measure the temperature at the distance I need. I repeat this process until I reach the desired temperature. For the cast materials I need 85-95 degrees. If there are overlaps, so, areas where two layers of film are applied on each other, I raise the temperature by 10 degrees, as the construction is thicker. Now we see that the temperature reached 95 degrees. It means post sitting here is completed and we can move to the next area. To make sure you don't skip any area, you can use two stickers or two pieces of a masking tape. Once you have completed post heating in a marked area, simply move one sticker and continue your work at the new zone. We explained that post heating is required for concave areas or areas that were applied with tension on the edges. If the vinyl was applied in a flat area without tension, then we only need to finish the edges with 50-60 degrees to make sure that the edges were closed properly and won't eventually lift or peel off. You have now learned how to pose it properly. Let's have a look at potential mistakes that less experienced installers might have. One of the mistakes I most often see is when the temperature at the heat gun is set too low. For example, if you set it to 100-150 degrees. It is a big mistake because if you set the temperature to 150 degrees, it means 
that the heating unit inside the heat gun will heat up to this value and it's not the temperature of the airstream. Consider distance from the object, flow of the air and you have the outlet temperature of 30-40 degrees. This way you will never reach the needed 100 or 90 degrees on a film surface. For this reason, you are better off setting the heat gun temperature on high, measuring the temperature, ensuring the right distance from the object and time of post heating. Another serious and frequent mistake is when you cross the heat gun airstream with temperature measurements. Now you see that during post heating the temperature quickly rises to 100 degrees. But when I remove the heat gun, it falls down by 30 degrees. For example, now you've seen 120, the heat gun is removed and the temperature is in fact only 85 degrees. Your measurement is only correct when you remove the heat gun and then measure the temperature. Another mistake is insufficient post heating. For example, you need post heat to 85 degrees. If you only achieve 82 or 80, so 5 degrees less, it may be a critical mistake that potentially can be the reason for vinyl lifting or popping up in this area. It is also important to understand that post heating is not only needed in corrugations, but everywhere where the film is applied with tension, like on a bumper and the bumper edges, if there is any tension. These areas should be post-heated too, at a minimum 5 cm zone from the edge. Also on the mirror, do not forget to post-heat all the edges and the areas where vinyl has been stretched. My friends, and so this learning video ends. I want to thank you all for your attention and invite you for application training at Academy 152 in Moscow at Street Likoborskaya Nabirezhnya 6. See you in next videos. Goodbye to all.